Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. This is Jason bringing you today's episode. Unfortunately, Freya is not here to give you today's episode because I think she just discovered that her mommy is still awake and went to say hi. Um, but she may make a fuzzy missile appearance at some point. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. All that support just means a ton to us. We're gonna keep doing this anyway. We love to talk about books, but the, uh, the support, again, just, just means a lot hey, to books. us. Yep, we're here to bring you guys books, authors, and just about anything else we can think of. So today I want to talk about an author that I've talked about many, many, many times in the past. Because I've noticed there's quite a few people out there that really are, are huge fans. And one of the things we like to do too is maybe bring you guys books from, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. That Please were absolutely fantastic. Exactly. From back in the old days, you know, they're printed on papyrus. Um, that uh, That some of the newer readers may not have discovered. We've done that with a lot of science fiction, and we do that with quite a few Westerns. So today I want to talk about Louis the Moor, who is the master of the romanticized Western, in his book, Buckskin Run. Now, a lot of his books, a lot of my favorite of his books, are ones like this, which are actually collections of his short stories. Collections of his short stories that were absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, I read this one, uh, I reread this one a couple of weeks ago, and I'm trying to remember some of the characters that popped up in it. And, oh, okay, yeah, this one. This one was really cool. This one, not, not so much uh, um, based around his characters. These stories, well, of course, they have a lot of his typical characters. Your, your, your tough, rough, and ready mountain man, or your, your outlaw with a heart of gold, or your, you know, your, your, your gunfighter, you know, a la man with no name. Um, although... The whole man with no name thing. I, don't, I think passing through might be the best one that, uh, that that he's had so far in that particular vein. But in this case, he wants to, with the Buckskin Run, he wanted to pick stories of his that were more focused ab around the the area of, of parts of the areas of the Old West and and just the Old West itself. To to Louis the more the Old West itself was a character. In fact, he is actually was known for the for going out and writing a lot of these trail, a lot of the trails that are in a lot of his books, the Old Western trails, the Midnight Chisholm trail, and stuff like that, um, because he, he wanted to know more about it, and, and I, I think he probably wished he was, you know, living in those, those times, but, um, you know, the, the, the time period. So these particular stories seem a lot more focused on, on an area or a geography or or a town, stuff like that. But what, what's really, really cool with this particular book is each one of the short stories starts out with a little historical note about a person, a city, an event, or a town really, an event, things along those lines within the book um, or within, you know, within history that are absolutely fascinating. I mean, you know, the very first one, let's see if I can find it. The, oh no, I'm sorry, each story ends with one of those historical notes. Let's see if I can find the first one. So, you know, the first one he talks about just a, an ungodly tough woman. And this is a real person, real person that, that uh, um, you know, fought off Indians, fought off outlaws, was injured, crawled, you know, should have been dead, crawled for miles and miles and miles while, while mortally wounded, basically. Um, you know, pretty, pretty cool. This also does have one of my favorite characters of his, the Cactus Kid. I don't believe he ever wrote a full-length novel about the Cactus Kid, but he shows up in a lot of his short stories. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of a big fan of it. The, the Cactus Kid character reminds me a lot of the old Hopalong Cassidy and the fact that he's, he's not physically imposing. He, he writes and describes him as, you know, five foot eight, you know, buck 50 silk and wet kind of thing but kind of a legend within the the area and the town and and such like that so you know kind of your whole local local gunfighter and that's the thing about the old west guys the old west for every incredibly famous john wesley harden and and uh um you know wild bill hiccup hiccup hip, hiccup hiccock there were there were a hundred unknown gunfighters that were probably just as fast or faster. They were just, you know, small little regional guys. They worked as a cowhand somewhere and never, you know, didn't go around getting into gunfights. Uh, so they didn't travel around and work as sheriffs in various towns throughout the Old West. So they just weren't as well known. I mean, it's like Jim Levy. If you guys are interested in, in, uh, in Old West and gunfighters and stuff like that, look up Jim Levy. 
Jewish gunfighter. Uh, I think he was killed in, might have been Las Vegas, actually. But uh, um, he's probably the fastest gunfighter in the West. He, he, he actually had the most confirmed via news articles, uh, uh, letters, actual written stuff from back then, actually confirmed as being in the most stand-up, face-to-face, um, you know, fastest fastest man wins gunfights. Because really, they're, they're, it's not as prevalent as, as all this would have you, have you think. So the Cactus Kid one, the uh, Cactus Kid, always one of my favorites. You know, he talks about a, uh, an Indian fighter. Um, it's really, really fascinating, these historical notes he puts in there. He talks about Clay Allison, who's very, very, very famous, very well-known uh, um, historical person, Long Henry Thompson. Uh, he even talks about the town of Tuscosa and, and, and what happens there. So, guys, absolutely fascinating. If you, oh, man, one of my favorites, the Carlisle King fight. Carlo King fight. I've actually studied this one in the past. I'm a huge fan of the Old West and Old West history. So, guys, if you guys like westerns, this one is awesome because, again, short stories. And I'm going to be talking about a couple other short story books and further reviews. Um, short stories, easy reads, but this, the historical notes, are really, really cool. Absolutely love it. So, thank you guys, everybody, for watching. We appreciate you guys. After you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons, please go check out Buckskin Run by Louis Lamar. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye now.